Well, good afternoon, brothers and sisters of the leaf. Today we're going to wrap an upper walk perfecto. This is what we're aiming at right here. That's the perfecto in question. Upper walk, you know, is an Indian word for tobacco. Nobody was using it. That word was just sitting around getting rusty, so I figured what the hell, I'll steal it and use it. Perfecto literally means perfect in Spanish, but it's used as the name of this shape. You put the two words together, upper walk perfecto, and basically you have perfect tobacco. That's why I like the term. But this is the, what we're aiming at here. And this is the Habano wrapper. This here is Habano wrapper that you see on the outside. But this is what we're going to start with right here. This is the blank which we bound yesterday. This is bound in Sumatra. Doesn't look anywhere near as good as this. Right? Same basic shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this top end of it a little bit more round than the bottom end of it. And therefore, you can see what I've done is I've trimmed this off a little bit more blunt at this end and just trimmed that off still to be pointy at that end. We're not concerned about the rough appearance of this thing because that's the purpose of this wrapper is to dress it up and look pretty. Believe you me, this thing didn't look any smoother or nicer than this when it first started out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a wrapper out of this leaf. You can see that in order to save time and might not make this movie too tedious, why I went ahead and prepared some things. I cut the stem off of this leaf. I think you can do that without watching somebody do it. And I made this leaf good and wet. Now, that's essential. I use this habano because it is stretchy. It is elastic. Here's a piece of habano leaf. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Watch this. You see how it stretches? Even though it's delicate, it's real thin and delicate, but it's elastic. And we need that elasticity because we're going to have to conform it around the ends of this thing, even making this transition here from tapered to the barrel of it. So that's why I use this particular wrapper here. There may be some others which would do it, but this is it. I got this wrapper from wholeleaftobacco.com for the simple reason that they have got the best stuff. And I'm telling you, if you ever wonder whether you would enjoy wrapping tobacco or wrapping cigars or making cigars, here's what you do. You go get yourself a bag of that tobacco from Whole Leaf Tobacco, open it up, stick your face in, and I'm telling you, the aroma of that thing is just downright ambrosial. You'll love it. So, how do I get it so flexible like this? Well, I wet it down. I take me a spritz bottle like this. I wet this leaf on the back side of it, the side that's going to be the outside, that's that side. This is the side that has the more prominent veins. It's the underside of the leaf. This is the top side of the leaf. You can see how much more wet and shiny it is. So I wet that side of the thing. And then once I've done that, I lay it under this sort of a towel here. And by this sort of, I mean, I've taken this towel, I stuck it in the, in the sink, got it thoroughly wet, wrung it out a little bit, and then laid it on top of that leaf that I had wetted down and let it set for about an hour. Once you've done that, this thing is thoroughly wet throughout. You can lay it down, all of which process is rather tedious, I'm telling you, trying to get the wrinkles out and lay it down smooth, so I've gone ahead and done that. I'll wet down the board, I'll lay this on top, I'll spread it out like this, then I'll come back with a rag and get the excess moisture off around the edges here on the part of the board where the leaf isn't is important to get it off so it doesn't wet the rest of the uh, tobacco blank that you're going to roll up. So here's our beginning. Now here's what we do. We're going to want to get a strip that's maybe two, two and a half inches wide and we want to get it from the outside of this leaf where the veins are smaller naturally than what they are toward the, the stem of the leaf here. So we're going to take this guy and we're just going to go like so and there is plenty of wastage in this whole process. Unfortunately, you can't use this inner part again for another wrapper because if you do, that wrapper is not going to look right. So you're going to wind up with plenty of waste on this. Don't worry about it. What I do is I save this waste. This scrap goes into scrap -a walk Perfectos later on. Makes a real fine filler. So there's our strip. You can see it's not too darn wide, is it? There's two fingers, maybe a little bit more, maybe two and a half fingers. That's it. That's all you need. 
And now what we want to do, we want to get a real sharp edge on the outside of this because that edge is the part that's going to be showing. Look at that. Can you see the edge on that where it's wrapping around? It's right there. Can you see it in the picture? I'll hold it closer. Very hard to discern. Disappeared. Why? Because we took the time to cut a real super sharp edge on that bu uh, bugger before we went to wrap it. Here's how we do it. We go here like this. We make just a little bit of an S. And then we go up the edge like so. Pulling that out. Now you see how nice and sharp that edge is on that leaf, on that wrapper leaf. And this little bit we throw away. That's it. That's all that you're left of with out of that big leaf. And we're not even going to use all of this because we're going to roll as far as we need to. And then the rest we're going to chuck. So here we go. We're ready to roll. We're going to start with the pointy end here, the foot of it. This is the end that you're going to light. This is the end that's going to be in your mouth. So we start with the lighting end. And you see how small that is down here? Not very big, is it? I'm going to put that on there. Lift this up with your thumb. Put that guy right on there. And now we proceed to roll only the tapered part. We're not concerned about the rest of this at all. The tapered part is down flat. This is coming up at an angle. It's free and clear from the board. And as we go, we make sure that we tug a little bit on this elastic wrapper. You can see it stretching out because we're going to want it to stretch tight once we get around here. All right? Now, when we get where we're around here and this starts to approach the barrel right, and we're more or less parallel with the veins on it more or less parallel with the cigar then we lay this part down right, and we continue to roll at this point we do not stretch any longer why? well because we want a swelling in the middle of this thing we want it tighter on the ends we get up here, now we're all ready to the head of the thing. This didn't take much time at all. If we roll much farther, that's going to come up like that and leave an ugly lump. So, what we do is we kind of cut a nice little, just like we cut the edge, this is the S down at the foot of it. This is sort of the opposite of the same thing. And then we're going to cut a bit of a flag going up this way. And that's more or less what we're left with there. That thing there that's sort of shaped to, I guess you could say, more or less like a wing. That's all that we want. We take a little dab of this cigar glue over here. We're going to put it in here. Not very much of it. Just a little wee bit. That's all we need. Have a rag handy to get our finger cleaned. And now we start this way. And as we come around of course, we're going to do the opposite like we did at the foot. The perfecto starts to come up off of the surface, as you see, because we're going around the rounded taper at the top. We get so far, and at this point, get that little piece of sponge out of there. At this point, I just lift it up, get in there with my thumb, and solve any kind of problems that we might have trying to get this to conform to the rounded top around here eventually wind up in a little twisted pigtail like that that's it we're done that wasn't hard was it I've been reading all these people complaining how they can't catch on to wrapping a perfecto and they think it's a big challenge well they're probably trying to pay too much attention be too careful try to be as perfect as the word perfecto is that's not the way to do anything right the way to do anything right is to do it efficiently just got to get in there, do it quick, get it over with. More mucking around won't help. Now we're going to cap this end here, right? Hold down that little bit of a pigtail that we cut off. So what we're going to do is, I have a little thing for an anvil here, a little piece of plywood. I have this T thing here. I sharpened the edges of that a little bit with a grindstone to make it not sharp, but just enough to cut tobacco. It doesn't take much to cut tobacco. We'll go cut that round circle out of there. I put a little touch of glue here. 
at the head of the thing stick that smack dab on that round circle pull that up pull that off here we go there's our cap that's not hard is it whole operation be, should be easy if you're going to be good at something it should be easy to you so if you want to get good at something don't make it difficult just pretend like it's just second nature now we're going to roll this a little bit to smooth it up I have a piece of plastic here it's flexible it's sort of like a Tupperware type material I'll lay that on there as I go like this that puts about the right amount of pressure on it back and forth we go look how that has smoothed out the barrel of this thing already of course we can't do that with this here we got to use our fingers because that stuff is flexible you see how it's already laying down on there real nicely we can roll it on the board but when we do we have to roll the the taper of it roll the conical part and when we roll the conical part you can expect this cigar to kind of spin around this way as you're going the top part of it of course there you're left pretty much just with your fingers you want to be careful with that cap you don't disturb it there we are this is what we were aiming at We're aiming at this. We got this. We're going to let this sit around for a couple of days. As we let it sit around, these parts will shrink down even tighter. The color will turn more like this. The middle part where we did not stretch it as much as we rolled it, that'll have a tendency to be swelled out a little bit. And the whole thing will be ready to smoke. All we'll need to do is trim this stuff off the bottom a little bit. Uncap it. Light it up and go that's how you wrap a perfecto the easy way is it the right way i don't know it's sure quick enough it's simple isn't it take care my brothers and sisters enjoy your leaf